Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here with your weekly e-tip, and this week we're talking about the grip and why strong, weak, or neutral doesn't matter at all for your golf grip. I know you've been taught this your whole life. It's one of those things. Well, I get this question a lot: how strong, how weak, how neutral should my grip be? And the answer is, I don't care. And here's why: the grip is a personal preference. If you look at all the PGA Tour players, the one thing that's consistent is impact position, and then another thing that's really consistent is that all of their grips are different. This means that grip is not an absolute. It's just one of those preferences. So we can make the grip, it's really important still that the grip's, the grip's really important because yes, it's your only connection to the club, it helps the wrist hinge, it helps the wrist hold lag on the downswing if you've got a good solid grip. So there's only three real absolutes to grip that I will recommend here. One, when you grip it, it's in the make sure it's in the fingers, not the palm. So fingers, not the palm, always in the fingers. Two, get that, that trail arm, that right hand, if you're right-handed, get it on top of the left thumb. And then three, so, so we don't want it we don't want it hanging off. You want that, that hand on top. That helps you to impact, get a good impact position. And three, make sure that the creases on your hands are parallel. By creases, I mean you see a crease here from my thumb in my left hand. That's going to run through my right shoulder, right ear area. And then this right hand comes on here, and I've got an identical crease. They're parallel to each other. And they both run up through my right shoulder, right ear area. That's the only three absolutes I would recommend thinking about the grip. Here's what's uh, important now. Determining how strong or weak or neutral is all a function of your body type. Don't think about it as controlling club face and doing different things. No. There's a reason why you like certain comfortable grip positions as far as your left hand's going to be in the same spot every time you like. You just like the feel of that position. There's a reason why you like it. It's because that's natural to you. The rooster behind me says, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the way you grip, grip anything else, you tend to just grip it so it's comfortable in your hands. Yeah, you wanna do that. Um, and here's why. If you're born with a certain way that your hands are hanging at your side here, they're always gonna be that way. They're not gonna change unless you have an operation. So. Here's what I mean by all this. How you grip the club is best suited for your body type. You know, how you determine it's strong or weak. What is strong and weak? It's just a it's just a way of describing, for example, a weak grip is one that you don't see many knuckles on your lead hand. So I see like two knuckles here, and then this crease points up through my chin. A strong grip is one that is turned over more. I see like four, three or four knuckles, and that, that V runs through my right shoulder. So it's just, a, it's just a way of telling, you know, what's the position of that lead hand. Doesn't do anything else for you. But when taking your grip, it matters that you have a grip that's built for your body type. So how do we do this? Place your arms at your side. They hang down like this, naturally hanging down. I can see three knuckles on my left hand. This is no surprise to me that when I grip the club, see this left hand here? I'm not doing anything with it. I'm just going to put the club in my hands. It's still facing the same angle. It's no surprise to me that when I grip the club, I see the same three knuckles. It's exactly the same as my hands hanging from my side. That is natural for you and me, for wherever, wherever your hands uh, are wherever your hands hang down. So, a couple people might be like this. You, you hang down, you see two knuckles. Okay, take your left hand, grip the club, there's your two knuckles. It's comfortable because that's how your hands hang down. Don't fight your body, stop fighting yourself. We make the game harder because we fight ourselves. You can work with yourself, it's a lot easier. The club tends to go in the right positions, you don't have to think so much. Stop, stop fighting yourself. It's like, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. If, if you're one of those people that's got your arm, your back of your hands are completely facing the camera like 90 degree angle, then you're probably best suited for a strong grip. You can't fight it. 
stronger grip. You can see like three or four knuckles there. It's not normal looking, but that's you. Or if you got somebody like this, they stand like this. They're best suited probably for a weaker grip because it helps their arms and their hands work together. Now, you can't grip the club like this, but when you grip it, just keep that similar, keep a similar feeling by uh, generally a weaker grip will help. You know, help you with that, that natural hand position. But most people are gonna be right here like me, where you look down at your left hand, your lead arm, now if you're, if you're right-handed, you're looking at the lead arm, which is the left, if you're left-handed, you're looking at the lead arm, which is the right. So keep that in mind. I see three knuckles here. I am not changing the position of my hand. All I'm doing is meeting the hand with the grip. Meeting that hand with the grip, that's my left hand position. Right hand, doesn't matter. It's always going on top of that thumb. So the left hand matters, the right hand doesn't. Why did I just explain all this to you at length? because it's so important you do this. Here's why. If I see three knuckles at grip here, when I come through, I'm likely gonna still have three knuckles. They're gonna either point down, they're gonna point down a little bit, but I'm still gonna be able to see somewhat those knuckles. What's more important is your club face. Three knuckles coming through, it's gonna be square, it's your natural. So you're starting with your three knuckles, you're coming through with three, the club face stays square. All right, let's say I've got four knuckles here, but I'm a three knuckle guy. Well, you're gonna try and make three knuckles happen no matter what, because that's your normal position. So you'll end up turning that club face a little bit without you even thinking about it. You're not even thinking about it and it's happening because it's not natural. You need to have a natural hand position. Set it the way you were born. Hold the club up with that right. And I've got, this is how my, my left hand hangs down. Place it on the club. That's my natural grip. So it doesn't really surprise me that I've always gripped it like this. And people say, well, your grip's really strong. And I'm like, well, too bad. That's your problem. That's your problem that my grip's really strong. Like, don't think about my grip. Worry about your grip. Because everybody's got a different grip. Everybody's hands hang, hang down differently. So don't look at other people's grips and say, I want a grip like that. Because you'll never have a grip like them. You don't have their hands, you don't have their body. Stop making this so hard. Just grip it the way you were designed. Trust me, it works out a lot better. So golfers and golfettes, thanks for tuning in. A little lengthier grip episode, but I find it to be so important to cover these things that you don't hear about a lot. And on this channel, you've seen in other videos that I've, that I've worked hard to explain that you should find elements of the swing best suited for your body type. Because if you fight your body, it's never gonna, you can't make your swing look like Tiger Woods. It's never gonna happen because Tiger Woods is a different body type. I'm never gonna swing like Tiger Woods. Even if I was Tiger Woods height with the same arms, I'm not. I just can't. It's in his DNA to swing that way. My swing is gonna look like me no matter what. And I know this because I've taken video of my swing over the past 13 years, 14 years. I still make some of the same moves I made when I started. Now, I've gotten rid of all the things that were technically incorrect, or most of those things, and I can still see a similar framework though. You can still see like the same tempo, the same, you can still see the same little things, that are your, your own little quirks, regardless of whether you got your swing fixed or not. Okay, just accept it and move on with your life. This is like therapy. <laughs> so. Have an awesome week. Y'all go out there, make some birdies. Get your grip. Think about your grip, and if it's not natural to you, because you're being you're forcing it somewhere, try the natural way, which is keeping your hands at your side and just meeting that lead arm with the club, and that's your natural grip. I always grip it this way. That's comfortable. I don't change it, and who who cares really? It doesn't matter. You want to get natural so you can return that club face to square every time. Start the ball in the same spot every time, game over. <laughs> so have an awesome week. I'll see you all in a future episode. Thanks for watching.